bumped into a young leopard cub called Vatumi. I hope I pronounced that right. Vutomi. Um, I think this is the same leopard Brent had. Brent had the other day with um, two step Tony and playing with that tortoise. <laughs> it was lying next to a little mud wallow um, and then it's decided to move off. I don't know if it spotted something from where I'm sitting. I can't see anything. Let me get out the way. relaxing again Dasher you would like to know why they have spots the spots are there to help them camouflage and blend into the, their environment So if this area was a little bit more overgrown, I'd be able to show you, if he moves in behind a bush, we'll be able to show you why those spots are so effective. It just breaks the animal up, I suppose, making it blend in a lot better. So all the kids are wondering and would like to know what the difference is between a cheetah and a, and a leopard. So first of all the build, the build is very different. A leopard is quite short and very stocky, almost like a, a wrestler. Very strong shoulders and head and a cheetah is very long and thin. It's got a very light frame. I'm just going to move, well there's our ideal example of how it just disappears and how those spots work. I want to go back a little bit so we can see a little bit better at what this guy is doing. Carrying on on that question, leopards, their spots are more of a rosette shape, so quite a square shape compared to the very round and tiny spots of a cheetah and then a cheetah's back legs is where all the power sits so it's like a sprinter having these massive legs and a very tiny head and shoulders cheetahs most of the time have their claws out like a sprinter and we can say that they are the Usain Bolts of the animal world out here cheetahs are extremely fast doing over 60 miles an hour very easily where leopards would be a lot slower maybe 10-15 miles an hour slower than a cheetah so and the whole hunting idea is different che cheetahs use their speed to catch up to prey on fairly open land where leopard like thicker areas and using stealth and camouflage to get to their prey. Get as close as they can and then pounce. Dylan, you would like to know if the leopard can hear me talking. I definitely think so. I just don't think it minds me talking and minds us in the area. We have this privilege of spending a lot of time out in the bush and with these animals. And with time, they get used to the vehicles. We view them from a 
a relatively young age and that allows us to habituate the animals and them being comfortable with our presence in whatever they are doing. If he, if he wasn't, he would have just moved off and disappeared into the thickest bush he could find and hide from us.